I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Fenextra TV. Today we're kindly joined by Scott Clements, CEO, Director and President of OneSpan. Hello Scott, thank you very much for inviting us today. Hi Hannah, uh, great to be here with you. Lovely to meet you. Um, so the first thing I want to talk to you about um, are the top trends you're seeing around technology adoption in banks. The threat environment is uh, changing quite rapidly, uh, becoming only more active and more aggressive. Uh, Two of the really big vectors uh, of that threat today are around identity and identity theft. Um, every day, uh, more than uh, 40 or 50,000 identities are stolen, uh, and then that information can be used for uh, many, uh, many fraudulent purposes. Uh, the second thing that really hap is happening is the um, growth of fraud in the mobile space. What we see happening is that the, the incidence of malware in, uh, in the mobile space is growing extremely rapidly. Almost a third of all malware today is happening uh, in the mobile environment. Uh, there are significant regulatory changes, not only with PSD2 and GDPR in Europe, but, but many regulations that are emerging uh, all over the world, really. Governments wanting to protect their uh, citizens' uh, privacy and identity, uh, and so on. And this is having a, a really significant impact on the considerations that banks have to have and the ways that they do their business. Additionally, uh, the, uh, the way that people think about and make choices um, uh, about their banking service provider are really evolving and becoming uh, very driven by user experience in the digital space. Uh, so uh, this environment is really evolving a lot. Uh, it requires uh, banks to really think much more about agility uh, and how they can be more responsive, uh, but also have to do that in a way that is even more secure uh, than they have done before while delivering a good user experience. Uh, so it's very challenging. Well, that leads me quite nicely into my second question then. What new developments are you seeing um, around digital solutions and how is this having an impact on how customers interact with their banks? Increasingly, what we're able to do is not only increase the level of security, but do that in a way that improves the user experience. In, in the past, when users or consumers had to authenticate into their bank account, it was a traditionally a somewhat cumbersome process. And that was okay when people were only maybe logging into their bank on their desktop a few times a month. But today, people are accessing their bank account for many reasons, uh, many times a day often. Uh, and so the things that we used to do for security uh, become burdensome when you have so many more activities that are happening. So uh, we are increasingly using data and biometrics uh, to really uh, eliminate friction uh, in the way that people interact with their, uh, with their banks. Uh, I think another thing that is really starting to emerge uh, is really uh, banks and financial institutions moving more of their infrastructure to the cloud. Uh, agility is becoming much more important for these institutions. And so uh, when, when uh, software is operated from the cloud, there is a much uh, better ability to move quickly to adjust to changes in the threat environment, changes in the market uh, that these uh, banks uh, can see. And naturally that brings us onto the topic of strategy, and you've touched on this a little bit already, um, but how should banks approach their digital strategy in response to these changes? I think they, uh, I think they first of all really need to consider that uh, the fundamentals are changing around the business, which I think they, they generally know quite well. Uh, that they uh, simply can't just do things the way they've done them in the past, that they really have to be more uh, thoughtful and, and forward-looking about what, what is the uh, banking environment going to look like and how can they compete uh, in the future. And so these issues of, uh, I guess I would point specifically to two, uh, one of which is agility, this ability to adjust to the market and the threat environment in real time, which we can increasingly do. Uh, and second of all is how to really drive a superior user experience. Uh, so people really are paying attention to uh, how good are the applications, uh, mobile applications in particular, that, are, that they're using? How many different things can they do with those applications? Do they feel secure uh, when they're using those applications to, to uh, carry out their financial life in the digital space? Some really interesting work there and certainly a space to watch. Scott, thank you so much for your insights. It's been a pleasure. It's great, Hannah. Thanks.